One year, what a ride. Fnatic, since the beginning, stayed through and through after Reckless's departure, but I would have to reconsider if you and Hilly ever leave. Go get this title, brother. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Hello, people. More of a dog person, huh? Hello. Am I Dutch? No, I'm Belgian. But I speak Dutch. Am I ready for fake or doggy? Is he ready for me? What do I think about Phase Rush Jax? Uh, I think it works if you play Ignite Plush, but if you play TP, not so good. Like, I mean, I, I tried it with TP Ignite and I wasn't too much of a fan, but it's okay, I think. Best volley runes? Depends if you're jungling him or you're playing him top lane. But uh, the Precision Tree has some good runes. TCDK2, thank you for the five months. Appreciate that very kindly. S1 Nissa, thank you as well. Appreciate it. Jin for me. No, no. Uh, can I say no to? I mean, I would normally just pick my own champion, but because. Um, in carnage, I bloom like, there's like some, a flower. In there's some Zed hover here. Like, I'm not sure how much AP we'll have in the game, so I'll go ahead and take him up on the offer. I don't like having uh, very few AP. That is not so nice. When do you generally stream? Uh, in the evenings, but recently I haven't streamed too much. I haven't been playing too well on stage, so I haven't really felt like streaming too much. It's usually something I correlate to each other. If I play poorly on stage, I generally don't stream as much because I just don't feel too good about it. You know, I'm not playing too well and I'd rather spend my hours practicing to try and get that back. Get back uh, or get a decent performance back on track. So I haven't been streaming too much recently. Boom, boom, boom. Karthus is a nice position 1 AP, sure. But I'm still not going to pass up on an Akali game when one is literally... I mean, I don't know, I've never seen a more Akali game than this. Jesus Christ, look at their team. Fear the assassin of no master. How could I say no to Akali in a game where there's literally a Tristana ult to CC? I'm trying to think. I think I can get away with this. Got 480 carries and Nar. Can't be more of, a, of an Akali game than this, can it? I like playing Ignite TP to have kill pressure. Okay, it gives you a lot of extra kill pressure. It feels pretty good. What do you build on a Kali top? A Rift Maker? Demonic Embrace is what I'm going to be trying. They dodged, obviously, because the draft was awful. Mm. No prestige? No. What do I think about Crash Bandicoot? Um, I actually didn't play much of Crash Bandicoot. I was too busy playing RuneScape on the PC, actually. Sorry for getting to your uh, subscriptions. I'm trying to get to. Give me a second here. I'm to log in person, huh? On Twitch so I can get that sorted. Can I unleash a nasty GP game? Oh, maybe, honestly. I think the champion's no, quite no. strong. <laughs> Just a difficult champion. Hawkers, thank you for the one year subscription. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Boom, 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 boom. No, no. An anonymous <laughs> gifter. Thank you for five gifted subs. It's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Um. No, no. <laughs> Any a uh, good AP carry on top lane? Um, depends on your matchup. I think blind picket's kind of hard. Like if I had to blind an AP carry top, it's like 
Yeah, there's nothing really. Uh, at least nothing that I think is great, so that's pretty tough. Aatrox, Aatrox, Aatrox. What do you answer Aatrox with? There's so many good things to answer Aatrox with. A little gangplank game? Why not? But yeah, I think Ken's probably the safest blind if you have to blind AP, but still, like, there's Jace and stuff, and, and mainly Jace. I think mainly Jace is frustrating to deal with, but, you know, Camille can be annoying, Rumble is fine, Rumble maybe is a fine blind too, I think Camille and, or, not Camille, Kennen and Rumble would be the safest, I think, to blind. Uh, Cho'Gath can be used blind, but you need some experience in some of the rougher matchups, like Kled, Renekton, uh, these type of matchups can be quite hard if you're getting ganked quite often, so keep that in mind. <laughs> Jay's low pick rate these days, yeah, but he's very strong. Why are you ignoring me? I try not to ignore anyone, but you know, there's a lot of people writing in chat, so I try my best. Bum, 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 bum. Bupo, I know you are the best top laner for real, but you don't know how to demonstrate yourself. Uh, I believe in you, trust me, you will carry. That's very kind of you to say. I am working on it, thank you. It ends up being Urgot top. Hmm, I got baited. But not really, because I actually like this matchup. I like both sides of this. I don't know. I, I Both sides of this matchup is playable, I think. Pantheon with Prowlers and Essence Reaver. Hmm. Wouldn't recommend it. Looking forward to Dionade editing your videos, brother. Thank you. I, uh, I've been quite happy with his work so far. One more question. Would you consider moving to Yemen? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Carl, five euro donation. Thank you very much for that. Just want to say how after the last time I managed to climb from Grandmaster with 700 LP Challenger after your tips. I even played versus you a couple of times. Had fun solo killing your uh, you with set into Lulu. Keep up the great stream. Yes, I remember that game. I was actually surprised with the boot start. I liked it. That they're dodging. Do something about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, you started boots into uh, with split for fork set into Lulu, and it's actually quite smart. I had a hard time laying. Uh, I was caught off guard by the movement speed early on. I think if you grabbed Doran Shield, it would have helped though after first base. Like, cheesing me with the boots was good, but then not having Doran Shield kind of made it pretty rough for you, I think, because I believe I traded a kill later. Managed to get one back. Why isn't Malphite picked versus Nar in pro play? Um. I don't know. People just don't do it. They don't like the champion that much, I guess. Uh, I think the one on one lane can be. A little bit tricky to pull off if, if you end up not recalling properly. Perhaps people have bad experience in scrims with the matchup. I Vectus, thank you for the prime sub. Moen, I am an inspiration. If I'm playing GP, could I use the FPX skin? Sure, I can use the FPX skin. Darius, hmm. I have 80 mid already. So when I see Darius, I think. When I see Darius, I think. Jace. Honestly, that's the matchup I always played, but honestly, I'm not sure about this Akali champion, so I think I'll play her a bit more and see what happens. She's also AP, which is nice considering I have uh, AD top. Actually, is Grasp Akali a thing? Because I saw some people play it. I don't know, I, I, read, I read up on it and people said it was a thing, but I don't know. How about Set? Oh, I think that matchup is rough. Aatrox is the best option. I think favorable for... Aatrox, Riven into Darius, I think you need to be a very strong Riven. You see a nasty Heimerdinger? I don't think Heimerdinger is that good, though, into, into Darius. Fleet is insane. Yorick is great against Darius. Would you raid by support? And Malachite, I'm, I'm assuming you're saying Malphite support. The same? Uh, not really. Hello there. Um, yeah, I wouldn't really. You say footwork is insane. I mean, it is. It's just Conqueror is so good on her now, no? Okay, I swear Conqueror is really good on her now. Hmm, maybe I'm a bit too too squishy. 
What did I think of BB's Darius picks last week? I mean, he he got a pentacle, so that's nice. But all things considered, he was coming out of the laning phase relatively even against the Scion, which is something that I would not expect in that matchup. Uh, Wonder is obviously a very strong laner, so uh, perhaps there's that. So much for Jace. I mean, an Akali game is not too bad, is it? I mean, AD, AD, AD. I think I'll be griefing a bit if I didn't pick this. I'll pick some AP, and I think I'll try Akali. Razor text, thank you for the 11 months, I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. I got destroyed by a Conqueror Akali in gold. I haven't, uh, I haven't actually played Darius Sion. So I actually don't know if Darius is supposed to win that matchup, but he played Flash TP. Uh, I would not personally play Flash TP on Darius. I like Flash Ghost myself. I feel like that gives me the m most value. The role playing was hilarious. Yeah, it's it's a recurring meme in our team. Why domination? Isn't the inspiration tree just stronger? What would you take an inspiration? The materializer and boots. I think that's okay. Um, but um, ultimate hunter is quite good on um, on Akali in my opinion because again her ultimate is well her key spell. It's what makes her strong. Zaklo, it's two months resub, streaming again. So chill to be watching you stream again. Well, thank you kindly. Um, honestly, I think it's Darius. I think if I go Doran Shield, it'll just maul me anyway. Like, it's not like I can get hit by him and then just, like, sustain up. So I think Doran's ring is going to be better. Give me some damage in order to actually trade with him. But we'll see. I think I probably should play Ignite in this matchup, but we will see. It's Volibear mid with Ignite. That's... Yeah, that sounds, especially when I read this, probably sounds like my mid laner is going to get killed a couple of times for free. But that's okay. No big deal. Normal Bass, thank you for six months. Any tips playing against Urgot? Um, baiting out his E is going to be the uh, optimal way to play against him, but his E hitbox is pretty rough, so I recommend don't dodge in a straight line. Try to, like, sidestep. So, when you're approaching the Urgot... Um, and you start your trade, try to dodge up or down, um, well, I mean, it depends on how you're trading with him, of course, but, um, if he's in front of you, like, let's say our god is here, try to dodge up or down, um, to improve your chances of dodging his E, because if he uses his E, he's kind of a sitting duck. Also, if you're playing a champion with CC, Aatrox, for example, um, you can interrupt his dash, and practicing that moment where you interrupt his dash is very important in order to win, or have a chance of winning the lane. <clears throat> Same with, uh, let's say, Sion, for example. You can prep your Q and then just chuck it at him. So, my champion's early game is, um, as you can see, pretty pretty weak. 130 energy is not very great, and I do not want to get W'd by this uh, Darius. So, what I'm going to be doing is just playing the farm here. I do have a range advantage on him. Uh, my empowered auto attack has a improved range. As I just chuck out a Q there, I probably should have waited a bit longer until he went in for CS. Like so. And then right now I have a, a little bit of range on him. Oh, my passive ran out, so I'm going to miss a CS there. But that's fine again. Uh, I'm just trying to grab the CS that I can. Starius is obviously a bit of a lane bully early game. Not unexpected to see my mid laner die. He actually goes W. That creep should die. As I'm getting a gank here. As I get one shot, I was hoping my cane would go on him, but he did not want to. That's my bad. Um, he, Darius has passive, so I should wait until Kane goes, and if he doesn't, I shouldn't go. That's my bad. Um, I eat poor. I eat onto him because my cane was coming. Um, like I eat first, but I could have just disengaged the trade with W. I think and been safer. That way I could also deny him stacking his passive and Kane would likely have gotten a successful gank, but I just thought Kane would go there. <clears throat> because, well, even though Darius is passive, it's not like Darius is going to kill you in one shot if you're full HP. And I could be on top of him there. Anyway, uh, a little bit of a setback. That's my bad. I messed up. A little bit of action mid here. Well, it looks like enemy bot lane is full moved and ready to join the action so it's going to be a bit rough for us no big deal i messed up as well so we'll see if we can recover 
trying to last hit these creeps the best I can. I'm gonna probably have to give up on CS. And because I hesitated, I missed both. That's my bad. You know, I didn't pink this. Just in case Darius decided to ward it, he did not. Just gonna have to farm a Q here. I don't have my shroud up. I use it to farm. So uh, interacting with the enemy top laner and your shroud is on cooldown is almost always going to end poorly. Oh, there I had E, so I can give him a short trade. Uh, not too bad if I keep respecting him around my cooldowns like so. His upper hand is a little longer than my E, so I should be okay to CS a couple of creeps. Trying to use my basic attack to CS as many creeps as I can, as I do want the energy in order to trade with him. With my shroud available, I can perhaps look to trade him a little bit here. Gonna try and use the fact that he needs to CS this cannon to my advantage. He's no flash, so I can use that to my advantage. When he queues, I need to E it, so I need to pay attention to that a bit better here. Apprehend whiffs, that's big. But yeah, when he queues, I need to E it, and obviously the skill on his side of the matchup will be making sure that I can't tag him with E when I dodge the Q. If I tag him with E, I'm always, almost always going to smash the trade. So that's kind of on him to dodge it. I'm going to go ahead and ward here. Again, Zack specifically, I think warding here is not as useful as warding here. So there's a chance Zack goes here because he isn't quite high level yet. Level 5 doesn't have all the points in his spell yet. I actually got hit by that. A little bit unfortunate there. Okay, need to be mindful here. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Oh, didn't pick it up, but uh, Kane has it under control. Oh, he's picking some strange timings to fight me, the Darius. Like right there, he would never kill me. I don't know why he committed so much. Like, I don't think Kane should ever be able to kill him there. I think that was a moment where he would just walk away um, and like chunk me out of the lane. His My wave crashes, I base, life is good, but uh, Darius commits trying to kill me, ends up getting killed. Quite nice for me. I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself uh, a leeching leer. Why? Well, I think um, I think it's a pretty good item. It's pretty chill. It gives you a lot of HP. It's nice against the true damage. You don't get the armor, but all things considered, for me right now, armor uh, not so big of a deal. As long as I trade properly, I should not be having too much of a problem. He's dead, no? Yeah. Well, it's okay. My mid laner has never played against Volibear, and that actually sounds like a pretty rough matchup. I would not want to play the Talon side. I think he could have ganked top here, but I should have pinged him. Uh, this guy is still no flush. Just always E his um, opening here. And then just leave. Don't want to overcommit to a trade. Three stacks against Darius. Um... Three stacks of hemorrhage. Always going to be scary to deal with. When you're playing against Darius, and this is what I failed to do uh, the first time I died when I interacted with him, is when you're playing against Darius, you're going to have to respect his hemorrhage. Five stacks of hemorrhage is always going to be scary. I'm just uh, getting a feel for him. Trying to see if I can bait out a spell before queuing him. I miss yes. There it is. Just uh, trying to get a feel for how Darius wants to play it here. Generally speaking, when you're playing this type of matchups and you have um, an escape, it's much easier to play against Darius. Uh, when you don't have an escape, it gets tougher. I'll lull him here if he's... Wait, why didn't he wait until the cannon? I was um, planning on going, as ulting him as soon as the... Oh, we're diving, it seems. I was planning on going as soon as the cannon creep died or like was low enough, but uh, he had diff different plans. I'm gonna let Kane start this dive here. Okay, he flushes my E. The correct way of opening it, a, uh, or the correct way of answering Kali's damage output. Well, this guy lost so much, but we're obviously gonna lose equal amounts mid, so. It is a bit rough, but uh, as Talon admits, he can't lane, so uh, better to look for opportunities elsewhere if you can't lane. It's a good uh, good thing from Talon to at least make someone else suffer. 
he has a hard time laning. So getting a dive off here, quite huge of course, for the Akali. Gonna clear the wave. When you're taking, uh, trying to gather the most advantage you can get from getting a dive off with your team, try to focus the wave first and then uh, leave. Because right now, imagine if I took that plate right now, but the wave was still alive, that would be a little bit problematic. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stay here. This is a neat trick you can do. Just a uh, fake recall. I'm recalling, but not really. Um, the plan here is basically... I mean, I probably should have just been behind my turret here because he's obviously going to push the wave, right? Um, the plan here is quite simple. Um, you fake recall so you can get it more gold. In this case, I want my item. So usually people are going to push the wave when you base like this. So uh, this way I can cheese out... Uh, enough gold for my rift maker as well as my teleport cooldown as well as my ult cooldown uh, so what I'm gonna end up doing here is abuse the fact that I'm real recalling and I'm gonna TP behind him because I have vision on everybody so right now with my rift maker completed I'm gonna go ahead and grab a health potion because why not um, I'm in a pretty good spot to wall in him Zach is going to be moving here so it's something that I probably should be mindful of he's not flush though so it's not like uh, they can really beat me. Polar Bear is not moving, so I can go for a 2v1 play here. Uh, e in 2. And we're going to go ahead and, self and grab ourselves a nice double kill. Very good, very nice. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty strong, so all things considered, pretty big, pretty big. Uh, it's a very simple League of Legends, even though I messed up early on. Uh, with the fake base, I managed to get myself enough gold for my item, and then I TP behind him. As he has no flash because he uh, used it on the dive, I can look for a uh, opportunity there to get a quick and easy kill. I didn't play that mechanically the best I could have, but it was good enough. Like right now, if we can dive his three here, it would be uh, completely game over for our good friend Darius, but uh, all good. Uh, plates are ending in three minutes, so cane basing is fine by me. Um, you want to pay attention to the timer when you have the Rift Herald. You don't want to not use it when the plates are up. Alright. I'm going to pull the wave here. Um, at this point, I just want to CS every creep I can and basically kill him when he walks up to the wave. Um, I can't one-shot him 100-0 unless I like outplay him and he doesn't uh, hit apprehend on me. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna chunk him first and then look to all in him. He's roaming right now, perhaps. Maybe he's looking for a teleport play somewhere. I'm not sure. Either way. Um, okay, there's some action here. It looks like we're winning out. That's huge, actually. Oh, really? He's going to get a trade kill. Rakan went for the W on the Zac. I don't blame him. It seemed like he was dead, the Volibear. Bear. He got charmed quite low. Uh, but all things considered, we're still in a very good spot. Alright, I uh, slow pushed the wave, stacked two waves, and then now uh, crushed them together. Oh, I'm just looking for poke under the turret here. I can't really uh, I can't really hit the turret here, as if he all ins me and stacks five passive, then uh, I'm going to be in a rough spot. So I'm just going to do the same thing here, stack waves and try to pressure him that way. I also have a, a pretty good base coming up. I have Sork Boots. And then working towards the Monarch Embrace, I'll grab some... AP. Sword boots are quite nice for Akali, especially this game. Um, uh, I only have Rakan as a magic damage source. Everybody else is full on AD or true damage. So physical damage or true damage, which means magic resistance will not be a great purchase for any of them. Obviously, not terrible for them to buy it, but still, it's not something that I'll be expecting. So after slow pushing the wave, uh, I fast push. And now I can make a decision on what to do. I get a teleport out here. Um, that's strange. I'm not sure why he did that. If he freezes here, I don't mind. Um, well, actually, I do mind because I can just kill him if he freezes. I got hit by the Q. That's unlucky. Oh, well. I think I kill him with my burst if, he, if I don't hit. Don't get hit by that. I'm not sure what he's thinking, but yeah. Akali Z does a lot of damage. I wanted to kill him on the... Uh, oh, I missed the cannon there. That's unfortunate. I wanted to kill him earlier, but... Uh, I didn't dodge his uh, Q damage with my R, 
R1 over the top, so a bit unfortunate. Actually, are they rotating top? They really might as well be. No? Oh no. I don't want to die here. Whatever, I'm committed to this point. No, they didn't. Sweet. Yeah, let's not hit the tower, though. Let's not challenge the enemy team too much, shall we? That was greedy enough. Oh, my Talon and Rakan were basing here, so I felt safe to do the next wave. But then I realized I easily could have just walked past them. You know what, in a game like this, and in general, when I have um, 425, when I'm playing an AP champ and I haven't bought a Dark Seal yet, and I'm doing quite well, I like buying Dark Seal pink, mostly for the pink, but uh, that way I don't waste the gold. I still have a use for the gold. Some small, Something small to pay attention to. This seems like a bit of a throw by the enemy team, I'm not going to lie. That hurts a bit, not AP Volibear damage. It's a bit unfortunate. That we are going to be fighting here. Yeah. Enemy team trades one back. Fortunately for me. I mean, I can murder them, by the way. They're so cocky. I don't think they realize I just demolished them, by the way. Like, I can almost one-shot that guy. I was just playing respectfully, because I don't feel like it's... Hmm. Okay. I pressed S there, because Darius wasn't showing on the top wave. Uh, neither was Tristana this whole time. It's one of the main reasons why I didn't pick a fight. Wait, where is he? I'm pretty sure he's in the bush here, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Good night. What do you want? Uh, if I could keep my Conqueror up, I could pick this fight, but uh, for now, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, Flush Darius. Yeah, if you hit E on um, this Akali, there's a lot of damage. Like, a lot of damage. So, kind of getting kills here, because I'm hitting E on people. I'm going to go ahead and try and use Vision to my advantage here. Let's ward. I'm coming, but that's a one-shot, unfortunately. Uh, 30 on my ult. Damn, if I'm tagged with that, it could have been interesting. Either way, my Shroud is out, so... No need to force anything. I don't have ult, so I'm not going to overcommit to anything here. Um, but landing against Tristana is actually pretty good for me. Because if I can kill her and get the shutdown, it's a game changer. Huh? Hmm. Oh! I'm getting hit in... Tr I'm getting spotted in Shroud by something. I guess it's because I got hooked. So I'm just going to go ahead and deal all the damage I can, which... Apparently it wasn't enough to one-shot someone, so that's pretty awkward, isn't it? Had he waited with his W until that, I think he would have killed him, but... Uh, no biggie. Oh, Flush? Dread Smite? Doesn't quite do the trick. Maybe Rakan does? It's going to be a bit messy here to get this kill, that's for sure. But no big deal, we're still in a good spot. Oh, dear lord. Kane is not playing the cleanest. No big deal though, we, we got what we wanted, the shutdown in the end. Kane got it instead of me and she got a shutdown on me, so not optimal. I played it pretty bad, I got hit by the hook. Uh, it's pretty bad by me, honestly. Like, I got hit by everything, but Tristana kind of got one shot, so not a big deal. Holy moly, revenge of one tap. She's smurfing though. Honestly, I probably should have TP'd, but I wasn't sure if it was a... Uh... What a flush on these people here. She has no hourglass. What the fuck? Close. Ah, close, close, close. Almost. I wasted my ult on that because I thought I had enough to reach threshold for a lethal there, but not quite. So I completely wasted my ult, kinda. Oh well. I'm gonna go ahead and push top and wait until my ult is back whilst farming Demonic Embrace. Uh, it's gonna give me a nice chunk of AP. Again, I'm not sure if this is actually a good build. Um, I just know it's the highest win rate build and this item is... It feels nice. Like, the burn helps you wave clear um, a bit more reliably. And your champion, or this champion, has a ridiculous amount of base HP per level. Like, it's crazy how much she gets. Like, why do I have 2.4k HP at level 13, you know? Like, that's how ridiculous it is. I have my ult for the dragon, so that's the upside, of course. Um, as long as I have my ult, I can fight Stridebreaker's my E. Uh, I don't think he expects me to have my ult again, so... If I hit ult E, I think I can 
one shot him, but at the same time I also do want to save my ult. I do want to save my ult for the dragon fight, but uh, is that a winning fight? It seems like it's a winning fight. I'll TP in here. Darius matches TP with me. All things considered, I think that's a good thing. Got one. I can't move my champ. I was smashing R, but it didn't work. It should still be a winning fight, though. Uh, and we end up 2 for 3, so it's not the worst. I got Volibear queued, actually. That was unfortunate. When Volibear has his passive stacked and he's AP like this... Obviously going to be very strong in a fight. I didn't have my Shroud because I used it to trade, so it wasn't the best. I finished off the Zac, which maybe I shouldn't have. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest fight. I mean, maybe I should have just invested my ult into... Maybe I should have just invested my ult into killing Darius and then TP'd, because then that way it would be a 4v5 fight, because he, he did some damage to me. It's a bit unlucky. Missed Hourglass there for sure. It's the only downside of this build. You don't have Hourglass. Dragons are... A bit scarce for our team, but no big deal. Uh, again, I'm going to be very strong in this game as long as I keep farming. Enemy team has no magic resistance coming up. I mean, it would be strange if they did build it, considering I'm the only AP. Um, so regardless, I'm going to be very strong in this game. But I'm pink here. Don't think I can do anything on this wave, though. Clear the wave out here. <laughs> Golden Merc Treads. But I'm okay with that. It's not very good against the rest of my team. Hmm. He actually predicted me. I'm going in because my cane should be too. I'm not sure why he's not. Uh, my cane should have entered that fight way earlier. I'm really not sure why he was running with full HP. He finished the guy off here and then ran away instead of committing in when I had Mark. But it's okay. It, it's not the worst. It's still a decent fight. I was hoping Kane would... Like, he was... He came in here. And then he walked away. At least from what I could tell. So I went in and did the most damage I could. It ended up trading a kill with Volibear though, which is pretty good. Uh, he outplayed me with the hourglass timing. So, uh, that was a bad play by me. If he didn't hourglass my ult, I would have carried this fight easily. But uh, I'm misplaying the team fights a little bit, so... Not the greatest performance by me. All good anyway. I think we're still in a really good spot. Kane is scaling up, grabbing his cleaver. I'm going here. I can't side lane at all. Sure you can. Just have to be smart about it. When you're playing a mobile champion like Talon and Akali, it's important that you sneak waves when the enemy team is not paying attention. That's kind of the trick, right? He's gonna look for a solo kill here on the Darius. I should probably hover, but I don't see a world where he can lose. Yep, just slays him. I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna start hovering. Nope, they're not doing it. Uh, I, I immediately started hovering just in case. Um, I mean, I didn't do it immediately. I hit the wave first, but honestly, I probably should have just immediately hovered because just in case something goes wrong, that's really bad, of course. Just like I mean, this. I don't know what he's doing in there. Uh, we already had our point of pressure, which was me, after he gets the kill. No, no, this is bad. I don't know why he's so cocky. I really don't know why he's so cocky. But he wants to lose Nash. Okay, that's okay. People... Um, when your jungler is dead, you can't, like, risk chasing people like that. It's gonna cost you Baron. Um, I can't make it to Baron here. I was not preparing myself for my team running into them and dying, so... Um, just not prepared for that. So obviously we're going to lose Baron here, so that's pretty bad. But uh, no big deal, no big deal. It's still a very winnable game. Kane is still very strong, Vayne is still very strong. Um, just a matter of um, me assassinating people and playing good. Dodges that real quick. And uh, no harm done. I don't want all in him there. Uh, he has three stacks on me. And I don't really have uh, space cast my ult and get things going. Just want to work towards my hourglass here. That's going to be the build. 
grab myself an hourglass. I'll grab the Finnish Codex. At this point, the armor is not really a big of, that big of a deal because I can't stack it that fast. So I'd rather get the cooldown reduction. Um, the cooldown reduction is quite nice on Kali because we're all mostly. Um, but also a Shroud and Ear, huge tools. So not bad to have some CDR at all. He went Nash's Tooth, so he's no MR, which means if I can. I can just focus Volibear and deal a significant amount of damage to him or Tristana. I think still think the fights are very much in our favor. She has a GA here, I'm working towards one. She does have a GA finished, so. I want to fight here. It's actually very good for us to fight here. I'm not sure why I'm not getting any help. I'm really not sure why these two aren't helping me. Arkan has ult. Huh, no, it's my bad, I guess. We don't want to fight, it seems. I don't know why, but we don't want to fight. We see Tristana bot crossing so i want to contest midwave here but um, it doesn't seem like the rest of my team is on the same page i wanted to contest mid there because i mean i'm pretty sure kane is still really strong right like, isn't he is, is that just me like they're cooldown based champions right volibear and zack so they have to hit one guy and then that's it but it seems like we threw too much and we're actually just going to lose because they're just going to end because well, we're not defending <laughs> that's pretty awkward Oh well, uh, this is my bad this game. I think if I played the fights better, I could have carried my team and stopped them from doing stupid shit, but uh, I was unable to play the fights as good as I needed to, so we just lose the game. There on the mid wave, I think uh, we I think we should have won that, but uh, unfortunately, not quite. Oh well. It was my bad. I, I, I fucked up. In the end, I, I didn't play well enough to uh, carry this game. Uh, no one was def no one was going mid for priority or defending, so we just kind of opened. Oh well, no big deal.